They are working a lot harder tonight. And most of you already learned uh, programming language at least one or two. That's why I make this talk so that no pressure on me because you already passed the first or second language already. So before I go further, I will uh, try to introduce myself. So who is this dude? Who is coming from? So I made my name is like if you uh, have hard time to pronounce my name, I made it easier. John in the car. That is John Car. You guys get it? Good. So I organized Chicago JavaScript meetup group and Chicago front-end developer meetup. And uh, rest of the time I work with Joe, try to give him hard time sometimes just passing his desk. He's the another organizer. And rest of the time I try to talk or teach people about React, Redux and all this front-end related stuff. So I am actually from a different planet. And if I am not doing all these things, I like to jump from a plane, which is 14,000 feet. And sometimes if I'm bored and I'm not jumping, and at that time I like to like run 26 miles because I did it last year and would be doing this year too. And if this like jumping or running is not enough, at that time I like to get 10,000 volt shock in the tough murder. Like, you know, my manager wasn't giving me enough hard time anyway. And if I am not doing all these things, then I go to conferences. So this one was International JavaScript Conference in London. So I go there and then give talk. So that's pretty much all I do. And if I'm not doing any of this, in that case, I think about this code, that all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. And I face this code March of this year and I thought okay what is actually my dream and I flash back in 2013 I have a dream to make learn programming fun easy entertaining as if you forget you are learning so and I thought okay I'm not doing it so what I can do so and then I started thinking more about it that this what it's supposed to be when you are learning programming but that doesn't happen to like 99% of us and this 1% doesn't end up a programmer. They become a QA or something when they have fun. So, and unfortunately, I went to uh, this PyCon by accident, actually, because my wife got a uh, ticket on that conference and I was just get bitten by this snake. And I thought, okay, it's not that bad, actually, Python. So I talked with a few people and I find out if actually Python is easier than other languages. And you will see those example when I was looking into and then if I ask you a question, what is a variable? What would be your answer? Anybody? If you say you don't know variable, then I will take the meal out of you, whatever you eat in this evening. <laughs> so anybody, what is a variable? You are not in the video actually, so you can talk. Reference to an object. Reference to an object, right? That's very uh, nice way. And if you want to write it in Java, you need to know whether it would be integer or something, something. You need to know a lot of things before doing the thing you want to do. But variable is not that, that hard. Actually, variable is you are changing profile picture of your Facebook. So your Facebook or Twitter, anywhere, you are changing your profile picture. That means something that is changeable. You could change. If that is a variable you want to do. And if you want to go to Google and whatever you type. Sometimes you type, okay, which day is Monday? Or maybe if you are like me, you will search your name only because you have nothing else to do. So you'll search your name or how to do download a girlfriend or how to impress a girl, whatever you type. You type different things in that box and you get like different output. That means whatever you type on google.com, that things varies. That means that is a variable. And writing variable is very simple. That's you need three things. You don't need to think about other language stuff here, what would be in front of it, how I will use it, whether it would be bound of integer or somewhere else, where it would have casting error. You don't need to think all this thing, or it would be a late bar or constant. You don't need to worry about it, just three things. Give it a name, an equal sign, and a value. And why the name is important? Because that will tell you what is the purpose. So for example, if you see the Pepsi name, you know you would be drinking something kind of black or if you had a font of something orange those kind of things so the name helps you to realize it I said okay it's not fun at but at least when you are learning through by using this 
it becomes like little bit easier because you can delete your every day while you are learning and you actually use variable every day whenever you add some friend's name because you give the name and a value is his friend number so i was trying to find a white house number with donald trump but he didn't receive the call but i found this number when i googled it so if you want to make some phone call feel free to use this number but don't mention my name and so when you get to the variable but that's not all enough you need to learn few more things when you want to become a programmer that means like you need to put something as an output and whenever you have a calculator and if i don't have this this output here it doesn't help at all if you just two plus two but you don't see the result it doesn't help if you google something and if the output doesn't come it doesn't help you will not do that work that means output is something and whenever you want to see something uh, physical what do you do you do just print it so you print some number or you print some math operation or you paint like somebody's name emma watson or you can directly name as if you are just emma watson is printing something so when you see this picture you know okay that's how i see the output I said okay good enough i need to keep learning and if you go to like other cases say like i need to make some decision or if you fall into some problem for example you have your partner's or your girlfriend's phone and you dropped unfortunately does it happen to anybody before you don't have to agree here because it's a little bit embarrassing but it might happen sometime now you think okay how i make this relation work maybe i have 500 dollar or i want to buy a phone maybe there are two options because some apple is not an option because with 500 dollars you have to think about other alternative lg or samsung and make some decision and when you are making decision you are thinking okay whether the price i have 500 dollar if it's price is less than 500 i will purchase the samsung phone otherwise i will go with lg because lg could be cheaper so you're making all this decision okay is 450 is less than 500 if it is true then you walk in a greener path to go inside and you show whatever the greener path and show that as an output but if you go there and then price changes say for example price become 500 or 500 something in that case you do the same comparison so if we can make some visual and with uh, uh, python it becomes much easier so that you don't have to do all these parentheses and all this extra crazy stuff and you can make the decision if the decision become false you become you walk through the red way that means every time you remember this structure okay i'm making some condition if it is true if it is a false just three things as if variable variable whenever you are declaring variable you had three things now you are also have three things next time you are maybe in summer day you want to have a drink or a ice cream you decide or maybe you are waiting somebody you are checking okay whether i should go lift or uber do you guys do that check at the same time that means you are running the if else condition if you can relate your everyday thing with this programming then programming is not an activity it's not a serious thing it's just your life that's the way you enjoy your life so we will continue one or two more thing so like collection for example the collection is just you go to the grocery store and purchase a case of eggs that's it it's a lot of stuff you have in your hand and uh, same way uh, if your backpack you don't have only one thing you have like maybe your wallet maybe your books or maybe some other your laptop and whatever you put that means it's a collection of stuff and every one of you have a backpack right so that's a collection you have and writing collection also the avenger guys one movie wasn't hit if you do this iron man movie nobody wants to see that's why they make like stuff all these superhero in the same movie that means a collection of superheroes comes together and you entertain that movie and right now they are trying to add variety so i thought okay what would be the next superhero in their collection could be after batman could be a catman batman ratman or cockroachman right anything they could add there but that's how the collection works like you know you have a bunch of things together in one place it could be a case of egg or something or like an avenger movie so i have to make sure that whether you guys are paying attention right or you are just 
uh, doing some Facebooking or using your laptop. So are you guys ready for the quiz? Yes. Okay, that's good. This is a very challenging quiz. And how many superhero was in that picture? Oh. <laughs> Anybody? Five. Five. Okay, clap for him. He did this one. Okay, because of his reward, I will make you the organizer of the chippy. <laughs> That's your reward. So the same way you can explain about like a loop, I will not go detail. Like you know, you are hungry in, in for lunch time. You have multiple fruits. You want to eat one by one. That's kind of like you cannot eat like if you are not a monster, you cannot put all the fruits together. You can go and pick one apple at the same time and maybe eat it and then you will, it becomes your value and you, it, it goes there. So you realize, you feel your activities and the code reflects what your activity you are doing. In that case, code become like much easier and cleaner syntax of Python makes it much easier to see the smallest number of code in your skin. So same way, this is just a structure and there is another kind of loop and some people actually has like four or five but another simple is like say maybe you are a college student now you want to make relationship so you whenever you see find somebody you, stick, you start texting texting until they block you when they block you <laughs> that you cannot message that means some condition you're trying trying to do and then they block you you cannot send anymore that means you are doing something until a condition happens but if you are lucky to get into relation you keep calling the person until she receives the call. So she's, she's like, cry, like uh, neglecting you for some reason, and then you keep calling, calling, calling until her phone dies out of battery. That means that also you are trying because you are so desperate. That is some other conditional activities that you do until something happens. So that's where is you are looping the same thing for multiple times. Anyway, I'll not go detail. And same way is like function, like if you wake up in the morning and your mom tells you brush your teeth, she doesn't have to tell you exactly what you have to do. Maybe you put uh, the toothpaste on the brush and you rinse it and then you wash it after. She just tells you that, okay, brush your teeth. That is the command for the function. Same thing if she does, okay, throw the garbage away. She doesn't have to tell, okay, take the garbage, walk outside, go there, come back, wash your hand, you know everything. And a function is most likely something like uh, a juicer. If you put a watermelon, you will get a watermelon juice. That means you are providing some input to the activity, to the juicer or the blender. And if you put banana, you will get the output of banana. And from the function, you can think of, like you go to the restaurant, you give the money, they return you something. Or the juicer was returning you something. That's way you get the function doing something with you. So this is like all the things I was doing on last six, seven months and first few years. And I thought, okay, how can I make it all this thing that I thought could be an easier way to talk about programming. And I was beaten by the Python snake in the Python conference. And I thought, okay, what else I can do? So I tried to put like a superhero with it. And then I put like, okay, if superhero is a cool thing and a powerful thing, I will put this together. And then there will be something like a variable man, loop hero, function man, those kind of superhero would be coming towards you. You will gain those power. That will keep you going. So I added a like few superheroes, like code captain, ninja coder, and all these things. And then I said, okay, people also like planets. So what if you are like traveling among the planets? and you are gaining all this superpower when you go there and that gives you like you know you are waiting in a maybe a starbucks in the morning for 10 minutes and you want to like uh, kill the time other than uh, whatever this um, uh, app you go so you could be like this something could be that would be like killing your free time and you also be learning that's what i'm trying to do but i'm not there yet but i try to put all this together this morning after six months and then put an app called Programming Hero. And I released it for this meetup. So this is very early stage. Very, Joe helped me with some content too. So clap for Joe. All right, Joe. So now this is just one step. This, this may be the 5% of my, my work. I need to like iterate through the content, make more it entertaining, make more fun elements and then make it a complete journey. 
so that like you know you in your free time you're the train because like learning in front of your laptop needs like your dedicated time and nobody has the time if you have one hour you will spend in facebook or youtube or maybe netflix somewhere but if i say like okay spend 10 minutes in front of laptop you will not do that but while you are a train you have the phone you are constantly watching it or doing some stuff there if you have some fun thing you will do that because we like like to waste our time so i need like four or five of you maybe you go and download it and give me some feedback okay this is what i see and this is the way you can make it better so next three four months i would be keep iterating iterating this is right now only android so make it simple so how many of you use android oh that's surprising everywhere i see like 25 to 30 percent but here is like almost 43.2 percent <laughs> almost so so i will leave this and uh, we are experimenting a feature if you go to the settings you will see uh, something called battle of heroes so ultimately we want to make it as a multiplayer game so multiplayer and you will gain like uh, in the real time you will play against each other and you will be solving pro programming problems but this is like very early stage so you can play with like in the settings you can see battle of heroes and then you uh, give me feedback so I, I will definitely need feedback about it and uh, so that's about like learners battle so that's it and before that okay before I finish I like to give you free tip anybody wants to get some free tip okay sure this is very, very realistic so do you guys have like go to whole food how many of you go whole food very few okay <laughs> you don't admit it because you you are spending money so i found it's very useful like when you go to whole food don't buy all this banana rather take this four banana because they don't have a like organic sticker on it that means the organic one is like say 72 cents per pound non-organic is like 38 or 40. So since this doesn't have any sticker on it, they will scan it as a, like a normal banana, non-organic. <laughs> so you will still get organic banana as you want, but since it doesn't have any sticker, you get, you get a lower price, All right? So next time, just look around and this in the corner, there is somebody doesn't have any sticker. Just grab that. That will save your money. But that's not enough. Like we won't save more, right? So if you want to save even more, then I have even better suggestion. That's it. So you would be able to save money on food if you just come to like all this meetup. That's it. <laughs> you, you, you don't need like a, you don't need like a $10 or $20 at this free. You get the f like free food every meetup. So last three nights I'm going all this meetup. You know why I'm doing that. And if you said, okay, this is good, but I need even more because like food is not all I need. I need like other stuff. So that's it. Then go to all these conferences this one i got in pycon <laughs> so since i went to like ngcon pycon all my like purchase of clothes is done for next three years because there was like 10 or 12 all these vendors and everybody is handing over t-shirts so i was taking it so this is what i don't know what they do but still i'm wearing it so he said okay do you guys want to save even more yeah. okay that's good so if you want to like it save even more like so he said okay then you get into a project maybe a data scientist or something that need to work extra hour in your office that means you'll be working all the night and you don't have to rent an apartment <laughs> right <laughs> you'll be staying there all night anyway and there is a some room you'll get to sleep there then you might have the question hey but i need to do a shower sometime right don't worry if you want to do a shower once or twice in a month just walk in front of LA Fitness. They will be handing out like a five day complimentary pass. So take that five day pass and just take a shower once or twice in a month. You will be saving rent and everything. <laughs> so that's all the free tip. And uh, you learn new things and uh, uh, give me feedback. I badly need those about the Programming Hero app. And this is my YouTube channel and I'll be adding more content. And if you have any question uh, about the app, uh, Feel free to ask the question right now. Maybe we'll have like one or two minute question or I would be roaming around rest of the night. So if you come back at two in the morning, I'd be still here. <laughs> Thank you everyone.